Hi there everybody, Destin Laguerre here, and today I'm gonna to show you how to install a new hard drive in your PlayStation 5. It's really, really easy. You're gonna need a few things. You're gonna need a screwdriver, and you're probably gonna need a light on your phone. Now the hardest part about the whole hard drive upgrading process is purchasing the correct drive. We left a few in the comments below or in the description, and uh, the one I went with was actually one that was recommended by Mark Cerny. It has the heat sink built in, it's properly sized, it's the WD Black 1TB Gen 4 hard drive. It has read-write speeds up to 7,000 megabytes per second. This is a great drive if you're looking to upgrade your PlayStation 5. And there's some really, really great deals out there. This one is comparable in price to the hard drive that you would get for an Xbox Series X at one terabyte, but you can get much better deals online. So let's crack open the PS5 and install this. A quick note, at the time of recording, this is only available to those in the beta. If you're not in the beta and install a drive, your PS5 will yell at you. So first things first, you're gonna need to remove your bottom plate. So just uh, take out the included screw and we're gonna set that aside for now. Now, probably the hardest part of the whole thing is going to be popping off this plate on the back of your PlayStation 5, for real. Basically, all you wanna do is you wanna put some pressure on the bottom and pressure on the top and sort of, there you go. <laughs> it's a little loud, it's a little scary, but as you can see, the plate is totally fine. And right there, that is the hard drive that we're gonna be swapping out. So we'll just set aside the plate and let's open that up with our screwdriver. Now, they say you need a flashlight, but I'm not really sure why you would need a flashlight. Um, just have it just in case. You could use a desk lamp or anything, really. So once you've gotten your plate off for the hard drive, you're almost done. <laughs> Open up the hard drive that you've gotten and put it in. So we've taken the hard drive out of its packaging, and now all you want to do is line it up and then You'll also want to undo the included screw inside of your PlayStation 5, line up the washer, and then screw it securely in place. Replace the cover, and pop back on your faceplate. Hard drive upgraded, that's it. Now, let's say that you have a hard drive that doesn't have an included heatsink. I'm gonna show you how that's done with this old M2 drive that I had laying around and a heatsink that I bought. Now, most of the heatsinks on Amazon or wherever you're going to purchase them are labeling that they are compatible with the PlayStation 5, but you can find a full list of specifications on the PlayStation website or in the description. Never put on your own heatsink? Well, they even come with instructions. So basically the order is your bottom, silicone thermal pad, your M2 drive, silicone thermal pad, and then the cover. And then you just screw it together and put it in the PlayStation 5 like I showed you before. Make sure you line up the screw hole on your drive with the appropriate screw hole on the cover. Then you screw it into place. And now you just install it in your PlayStation 5. go. Be sure to check the description for a link to various hard drives so you can pick the one that works for you. And yes, I know some of you Eagle Eyes out there probably noticed that was a 960 Evo. You would want to get the 980 M2 drive. Okay, so now that we have the hard drive installed, let's see what that looks like on the PlayStation 5 menu. Right now, if you're in the beta, be sure you've downloaded and installed the beta system software before adding your new M2 SSD to your PS5. If you're watching this once the system software is available to everyone, be sure you have the latest PS5 software installed and you should be good to go. So once you boot up for the first time, the first thing you'll need to do is format the drive when prompted to, so go ahead and do that right off the bat. We found that when transferring a 55 gigabyte game like Returnal to the new drive, it took 43 seconds. It was very, very fast. But when transferring it back to the built-in PS5 drive, it took four times as long. However, the loading times are identical for both drives, which is amazing. That's it. Look, if I can figure out how to do it, I'm sure you can. Open your PS5, pop in that new M2 drive that you like, and get to gaming. Thanks for watching, everybody. For more on all things gaming, keep it right here at IGN.